Hey there guys. Tonight I decided to make a video of the newest project I've been working on, which if you can tell by this, is an automatic transfer switch for a power generator. So I invested a little bit of money in a generator because I'm running my own website on the service here. Um, it also runs our network and some file transfer stuff and yeah, a little bit of everything, as well as the fire alarm interface and the um, fire map server and stuff like that. So I decided having a generator was probably a good idea. Um, I wasn't sure what route I wanted to take until I found a few YouTube videos on the Hyundai uh, 5500 watt quote unquote silent generator. It's not exactly silent, runs at about 95 decibels. I think I might be able to bring that sound down a little bit if I um, install a muffler and maybe put it in an enclosure. We'll go have a look at the generator quickly. So here's the generator here. It's, uh, all I can say is that it looks a lot smaller on video than it is. It was a pain in the ass to get it in here. It weighs close to 200 kgs um, and it's a diesel generator. This technically would be big enough to run my entire house, but I don't want to be messing around with the wiring considering I'm supposed to be moving out soon. So I opted just to have it power the sleep out and put temporary cables up here. Um, yeah for the time being the ats cable that came with the unit was incredibly short it was like a meter so i had to get my own custom five core cable and kind of wire it in there uh, but it looks good and i'm happy with how it's working so far i put two hours on the clock so far it came with literally just a minute from the factory so i've put a little bit on it and tonight we're going to run it for a little bit longer make sure it's all good um, and check its fuel consumption so tonight's low test I want to run it for maybe a couple of hours just to just to really make sure it's capable of, of doing what it states it can and yeah so what i'll do now is i will go turn off the power switch and we'll be able to see it start up so this switch here is the main switch for my sleep out so as soon as we turn this off, the automatic starting process should begin and the power should switch over. I've turned on my outside light there, so you can kind of get an idea of when everything turns back on. Okay, let's turn the switch off now. And there we go. has been restored. So, because I have a UPS in this room, all the computer equipment, the speakers, my uh, transmitter up there, it all remained on the entire time. It was only the lights, the air conditioner, and the tech televisions that turned off. So it's a, it's a pretty seamless transfer. If you were in this room, you, you really wouldn't notice much difference apart from a short delay when the televisions turn off and back on again. We're not very well known for having blackouts here, but it's, it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, I want as much uptime on my servers as possible. It's kind of the goal. Um, I'll take you to the generator now that it's running and we can see a few details on that. Here's the automatic transfer switch. You can see now that it's running on generator and the automatic function is still um, active. Got the power meter here. You can see that it's running at about 235 volts, which is pretty decent. Power factor is still good. Um, but the hertz is running a little high. You can see it's running at 51 hertz. It's good enough, but I would really like it if it ran at 50 hertz because of all the sensitive equipment in this room. The generator is AVR regulated, um, which means that it's it's not an inverter generator, but it's an AVR regulated generator. But it does the trick, and yeah. In the future, I want to make my own automatic transfer switch interface. I want to add features such as a timed maintenance period, so say once a week for an hour, the, the 
the uh, generator turns on by itself, switches over the load um, when the generator is still operating because if the generator is already operating and this contactor activates in here, nothing will lose power in here. It's a very short delay between the switch over. You'll see that when we turn the generator off in about maybe half an hour or so, that it's actually a very short pulse and nothing actually powers down. Okay, let's go to the generator and have a quick look. I probably won't be able to talk over it. It, it is noisy. I don't know how much of that you heard, but all I was saying is with the generator, I really do want to add a muffler. Just I think the exhaust noise itself is, is mostly responsible for the, the loud level. Um, so that should help a little bit. I've got rubber mats under it, that helped a little bit. Um, and eventually maybe putting it in a full enclosure with an exhaust fan and baffling and, and all sorts of stuff like that. So if you are in the market for one of those Hyundai 5,500 watt generators, just be aware that it's, Silent is one of their advertising techniques, but it's it's not silent um, in any any means of the name. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here, and we'll be back in about maybe two hours to switch back over to AC, and I'll show you that process.